Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss how to find the optimal solution in knapsack problem using dynamic programming technique. Already, we have discussed how to implement the knapsack problem using dynamic programming technique and how to find the optimal solution. After finding the optimal solution, what are all the objects to be selected to place it into the knapsack? That objects we need to identify. That also we have discussed roughly, but now we will discuss along with the optimal solution algorithm. Okay. So here in optimal solution algorithm, we need to find the objects that are selected for the problem. That is to place it into the knapsack. So this is the problem already we have discussed. And we have find the optimal solution also. So here the optimal solution is nothing but 37. So with this optimal solution, we need to identify from this table what are all the objects we have selected to place it into the knapsack to obtain this optimal solution. Okay. So to find out the objects, so this is the algorithm. So here for i equal to 0 to n minus 1, we have to apply x of i equal to 0. So this is the initial step. So before that, what are all the things they have given? The objects is equal to 4 objects they have given. And the remaining capacity of knapsack or initially the maximum capacity is 5. And the weights if we are considering in the sense w1 weight is 2, w2 is 1, w3 is 3 and w4 is Okay, so these are all the weights they have given and we have, they have given profits also. The profits we have implemented in this profit table. Okay, so here to start with initially for i equal to 0 to n minus 1, we have to apply x of i equal to 0. So x of i is nothing but here they have given 4 objects. So we need to consider x1, x2, x3, x4. Okay. Four objects they have given, whether we have selected these objects or not. Initially, we will consider it as zero. X1 is not selected, X2 is not selected, X3 is not selected, X4 is not selected. Initially, we are considering like this. Okay, next step. Step one. So here i equal to n and j equal to m. So i equal to n in the sense number of objects is four j equal to m in the sense j equal to 5. So, these two values we need to consider i equal to n and j equal to m. Next, check the condition while i not equal to 0 and j not equal to 0 in the sense. If this condition is true in the sense, execute the loop v of i comma j not equal to v of i minus 1 comma j in the sense. If both these values are not equal in the sense, in that case, xi is selected. Then apply j equal to j minus wi. This weight will be deducted from this maximum capacity. And now this j will be the remaining capacity. Okay. After executing this, consider i equal to i minus 1. So this loop will execute continuously. So we will apply this loop with the help of the steps. Okay. So first step is v of i comma j. V of i comma j, i is 4 now, j is 5. V of 4 comma 5, okay. So, V of 4 comma 5, in this profit table, what is the value? V of 4 comma 5, the value is 37, okay. And V of i minus 1 comma j, okay. i is 4, i minus 1 in this is 4 minus 1, 3, j is 5, okay. So, V of 3 comma 5. What is the value? It is 32. Check the condition whether it is equal or not equal to. So, here this is not equal to. Therefore, x of i will be selected. So, x of i. x of i is nothing but 4 here. So, x of 4 will be selected in the sense consider it as 1. Okay. So, now x of 4 is selected. Then, j is equal to j minus wi, j is nothing but 5 minus weight of the fourth object. What is the weight of fourth object? That is 2. So, 5 minus 2, the remaining capacity we will get it as 3 and i if we are considering in the sense after executing this if statement, i value will be decremented by 1. So, i equal to i minus 1, now i value will be 3. Okay. So, according to this condition, if you are considering in the sense, x1, x2, x3, x4. Okay. 
So in this set, which one is selected? 0, 0, 0, x4 is 1 now. Okay. So now considering i equal to 3, apply next step. That is this for loop will continue again. Still condition is true only. So this for loop continues. So step 2 if you are considering v of i comma j. i value is 3 and j value now here is 3. Check the condition v of 3 comma 3 not equal to v of i minus 1. 3 minus 1 in the sense 2 comma 3. So v of 3 comma 3 what is the value? 3 comma 3 value is 22 not equal to v of 2 comma 3. 2 comma 3 22. Condition fails here. Okay. So x of 3 is not selected. Simply decrement the i value. So i if you are decrementing in the sense i equal to 3 minus 1. Now i value is 2. Okay. J value is same only because we have not selected the third object. No need to reduce the object weight. Okay. So J value is 3 only. I value is 2 now. Okay. So now x1, x2, x3 if you are considering in this sense x1, x2, x3, x4. If you are considering in this sense the value will be same only. That is 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Next step. Step 3 we will implement here. I value was 2 now. Okay. So V of I comma J. 2 comma J value was 3 only. 2 comma 3 equal to V of I minus 1. 2 minus 1, 1 comma J value was 3 only. Okay. So V of 2 comma 3. What is the value? 20. Not equal to. So, here the condition we have to check is not equal to. So, not equal to V of 1 comma 3. V of 1 comma 3 value is 12. Condition is true. So, what we have to do? X of i is 1. So, X of 2 is 1. Meaning is object is selected. Next, reduce the weight of this object with the remaining capacity. J equal to J value is 3 now. The remaining capacity is 3. 3 minus weight of the second object is 1. So, J equal to 2. Okay. And I is equal to I minus 1. That is previously I used to 2 minus 1. And now if we are considering in this sense X1, X2, X3, X4. If we are considering in this sense X2 is selected. So, since here x2 we have applied as 1, x2 is selected. So, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, now x2 is selected as well as x4 is selected to place it into the NAPSAM. x3 is not selected. Next, we have to check only for x1. Okay. So, that we will implement as step 4. Okay. V of i, j. i value was 2 minus 1 in the sense Okay, so V of 1 comma, the remaining capacity J is nothing but 2. V of 1 comma 2 not equal to V of I minus 1. That is 1 minus 1 is 0 comma 2. Okay, V of 1 comma 2, what is the value? 12. Check the condition whether 12 is not equal to V of 0 comma 2. 0, value is 0. Yes, it is not equal. Condition is true. Okay, so xi is selected. So x of 1 is selected. x of 1 is equal to 1. And j equal to j equal to j minus wi. So 2 minus wi, that is the weight of the first object is 2. So now j value is 0. Next up we are considering i. i is equal to i minus 1. i value is 1. 1 minus 1 in the sense. Now i value is also 0. j value is 0. i value is also 0. So, when it reached i equal to 0 in the sense, no objects are there. Okay. And the capacity of knapsack is full. Since it represents j equal to 0, the remaining capacity is 0. So, now we have obtained the optimal solution. Okay. So, now if you are considering in the sense, this for loop we have to implement for i equal to 0 to n, do if x of i is 1 in the sense, write object selected as i. Okay. So, the solution if we are considering in the sense x1, x2, x3, x4. 
okay okay so equal to object 1 is selected 2 is selected 3 is not selected so 0 4 is selected this is the solution and these are all the objects we have selected that is the meaning to get the maximum profit 37 optimal solution is 37 So to obtain the optimal solutions, thirty-seven. The object selected is object one, two, and four. And this is the algorithm to find which are all the objects selected to obtain the maximum solution. That is the optimal solution in dynamic programming. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.